Hey guys and welcome to the video. My name's Amia and I've just finished my GCSEs. Because of this, I'm going to be filming my top tips for going into year 11. I hope you enjoy the video. My first tip is to be organised from the start. For example, I came home most nights and I just wrote out a to-do list of everything I had to do for that evening. It didn't mean I had to work like the entire evening, but it meant that I got my homework done, I wrote up my notes, and I did any other tasks that I needed to get done. Also, as you can see, I'm at my desk and by having like an organised space where you can dedicate to your work, it makes things so much easier. My second tip is to revise properly for all your exams. These include your end of topic tests, even the quizzes and of course your mocks. So basically what I did is I made sure my notes were completed, I'd done any revision resources I needed, I'd revised the topic, maybe I'd done some blurting, and I just did this consistently throughout the year. I was constantly kind of revising little and often for those exams specifically. And by doing that it meant I'd covered all the topics. So by the time it came to my real things, when I was going to be tired and stressed and everything, I already had most of that knowledge retained and I didn't have to do that much when it came to my real exams because I'd done all the work for my mocks. So my third top tip is to be proactive. You've got to make sure you've covered all the content so you're fully prepared for your exams. My best way of doing this was using revision guides. As you can see, my science ones were kind of a bit battered because I made sure that I'd covered like everything. So you can see there's some flashcards at the back. And I went through every single topic. And by making sure I'd gone through each page of this book and all my other books, it made sure that I hadn't missed anything for my exams. If you want, print off the spec, make sure you've ticked off every single section. And then you know you're prepared. They can't test you on other stuff. As well as this, go to your teachers. In Year 11 you are their main priority, so if you're stuck on something you can go and ask them. They are there to help. And also, use online resources. There are so many things online. For example, Primrose Kitten. Her YouTube channel was really useful for me in Year 11 for tips, advice and also content. And there are so many others like Mr Bruff for English, free science lessons. Literally. At most subjects, you will find something online to help you, so be proactive, find the resources, and make sure you've covered the specs so you're prepared. Okay, we're on top tip number four now. So basically, this next one is, from the start, you need to try and find revision methods that work for you. So, I wouldn't recommend just reading it, I'd recommend active revision, but you've got to find the method where you retain the most information and find most engaging. So for me, I really liked using Quizlet, blurting and practice questions. Quizlet is a free online learning resource which I've used for a couple of years now and swear by. They're basically online flashcards. I've made a section for most of my topics and this meant I could access my flashcards from anywhere. There are loads of different ways the site allows you to revise from your cards and I just find it a really great method. <laughs> Now we're on top tip number five. Okay, so this one is practice questions are your friend. Practice papers, practice questions, quizzes, everything that tests your knowledge, that's how you're gonna learn the information. Also, I'd really recommend marking it with the mark scheme so you know what the mark scheme is looking for. And this prepared me so much, especially for my science exams. Okay, this last top tip is nothing to do with revision, but it's going to help you get through year 11 because it's a stressful year. So, my biggest recommendation is to take time for yourself. Um, keep doing the activities you love. Maybe you have to cut back a little bit, but try and keep doing the things that make you happy as long as it doesn't stress you out. It could be doing anything, but you need to keep making time for yourself and also focus on your mental health as well. So it means you come out of year 11 not completely dead, which is pretty important. So that is probably my biggest tip, is to keep taking time for yourself. Your mental health is so important and you can't just let it go for a year. That's just not fair on you or your family. 
so thank you everyone so much for watching this video. I am so grateful for Primrose Kitten for letting me bombard her channel with my video. Um, please remember not to stress too much about going into year 11. It's actually an amazing year and you get a really long summer at the end, so it's a, that's a bonus. Um, it's kind of stressful sometimes, but you'll get through it and you learn so much during this year. Um, please remember to like this video, comment about going into your 11 if you want to, and also subscribe to Primrose Kitten. And if you really want, please go over to my channel, Amy O'Hanna, and subscribe to me. I'm a really small and new YouTuber, so I'd really appreciate any love and support. So thanks again for watching. Bye guys!